Now, this test dashboard gives you different KPIs, charges, payments, days in AR and AR, which are pretty much all the KPIs which are covered in the other report. And you can see you don't have to shift sheets to analyze different KPIs. You can select clinic and all and see how different, how clinic has been performing on different KPIs. Secondly, an important part is I want to see the clinic charges are going up, payments are a little going up, but how has it been regarding different divisions? I can select the particular division like uh, ambulatory surgery. Now, if, you, if I select ambulatory surgery from here, it pretty much gives me a trend how ambulatory surgery has been performing and the payments have been for ambulatory services. So we see the charges have been going down. And similarly, I can say they, I want to analyze the days in AR for stroke center. And all it does, it picks up data from different data sources and gives you a trend on uh, days in AR for uh, stroke center. So I can see that I can use the KPIs and the divisions in different use the different combinations possible to analyze them as a group and as a as a clinic. And I can see the trend here, but I can also see if I go down here, I can see the values. I like AR. I currently am using clinic here, but if I go down and select transplant, it will give me the trend for transplant but also it will give me the values for the transplant so I can also have a dollar value which can help me in developing different analysis going forward. Now coming to the next part of this dashboard as we mentioned earlier that there, there is the report is also broken down by insurance groups and you pretty much don't want to look at all the insurance groups you just want to see the trends in the insurance groups to see which insurance groups are you know uh, probably contributing to charges going down or AR going up so to do that, all you have to do is click this button here for charges and say, okay, I want to analyze Blue Cross Blue Shield only. Press confirm and run graph. Now what this command does is it looks at various data sources and gives you a, a graph which would depict how the insurance group, specifically Blue Cross Blue Shield, has been performing for charges. And you can see the trend here. And you can pretty much do the same thing for different like this is for the payments I can see Medicare Blue Cross Blue Shield I want to analyze I want to say is confirm and run graph and while the graph is running you can see that in this report there's a trend and that's what it tells me the charges are going up Blue Cross charges are going up so that's a good sign but if I look in this report my payments have been going down for a lot of period of time and I can see that uh, Medicare which is olive green has going has been going up but Blue Cross has taken a drastic drop so I can probably give you know say that Blue Cross Blue Shield has been responsible to some extent of this trend of payments and you can pretty much do it for AR and days in AR but managers need flexibility so they they want to analyze not Blue Cross Blue Shield but Medicare how Medicare has been doing on charges so they can click on this analyze group again and uh, select Medicare and press confirm that's all they have to do in this and exit the screen so what this command does is it will work on different data sources analyze and pretty much give you a trend on how how Medicare has been how Medicare clinic has been doing sorry uh, how Medicare and Medicare have been doing oh so I'm sorry you can see that the trend up here it's a little slow but it did come out and I can do that for different divisions but looking at this it's ambulatory services and it's covering Medicare and Blue Cross Blue Shield I want to see the same trends because I see Blue Cross is doing down but how is it doing instead of ambulatory services how the clinic is doing on these two uh, payments for the clinic are doing on these two insurance group all I have to do is go down select clinic and again as said before it will go look in the data sources what the data has been and pretty much give you a trend but if you so see that the clinic Blue Cross has gone up so probably uh, ambulatory surgery which we have earlier was not a very big contributing factor so it helps us in an analyzing different trends and we don't have to switch to different sheets as it was in the previous report we can pretty much look look at everything from this particular dashboard this part of the dashboard and look at the values from this tabular column but another functionality which we have developed and which is a very powerful tool which we've developed in this dashboard is receivable management tool for determining determining next month's targets 
Now, how functional, how it functions in uh, in TC, which is the ME clinic, is that finance department comes back to PFS and says, "I want you to reduce, excuse me, I want you to reduce AR by 10 percent." You know, because our, we are taking budget cuts, we are we want cash flows, so you want to decrease the AR by 10 percent. Now, just looking at the figure or hearing the figure, 10 percent doesn't make much sense because 10 percent. I mean, what does it mean for the managers? So just to analyze that, you can pretty much go here, select 10% using the scroll bar. I'm sorry, I went too far. Then I have to reduce my AR by 10%. And so I have to bring it down from $111 million to $100 million approximately, which is a big target. But uh, they also tell us that according to their projections, the charges would go up by, say, uh, 11 or 12 percent let's take 12 percent and so our char current charge the last one charges were these and our next charges would be this and using a simple formula and that assumption that uh, TC recovers only 37 cents on every dollar that they bill we use this formula and see that to achieve these targets given by the finance department they have to get the payments of 45.5646454 million uh, sorry 45.5 million dollars because uh, PFS works solely on um, analyzing and running with uh, different uh, insurance groups and following them, following up, uh, following up with them to get the payments. So all they work on is, is this figure: how much payments are they supposed to get in? Now, looking at the analysis and the targets given by the finance department, they should be looking at somewhere around 45 million for the clinic. And if we go here for the payments for the clinic. I see that we have never touched $45 million uh, and right now we are $35.4 million which is pretty much low. So I can always go back to the finance department and tell them that this figure is practical, is impractical and it's very difficult for us to achieve the target because you know, $10 million more in payments, it needs a drastic process change which doesn't happen on every month to month basis. But if, if we want to look at clinic and suppose we say that we probably set the goal to an achievable target, you know, something which probably we've seen the, in the past, which gives us 42 million. So we see we've achieved 42 million in the past, but currently we are not in a good state. So we want to go forward and be proactive about it and see how different divisions would be affected. So I can go down here, select uh, any division that I want to analyze pretty much. So if I go to anesthesia here, it will pick up all the data from the anesthesia regarding this and give me how much payments I need to analyze from anesthesia. So even if I have to, if I can make sure that clinic targets are met, I can go here, select anesthesia in the payments also. See the trend there? Payments, anesthesia. You know, we've been revolving around 2 or 3 million dollars and they're asking 2.9, which is achievable. So we can focus our energies on anesthesia to get the part of the payments. And we will be, we'll be very sure that our, our uh, efforts would reap results. Another functionality which we built in, into, this, into this analysis tool was that uh, whenever you change these figures, whenever you're analyzing your targets, you pretty much can see that if you have five percent reduced reduction in AR and your charges go up by four percent suppose you can see that figures would pop up here and you can analyze what the dip, what what impact it will have on this of, of payments on this particular division and look at various combinations like seven percent or six percent or four percent 